virtualization. In the data center, it promises to maximize cost savings, minimize space requirements, and optimize resource utilization. The IT world has really taken to virtualization because it, first of all, improves the efficiency of the operation of the data center. It also helps you utilize your existing capacity. And there's a lot of pressures on CIOs these days to make sure that they're seeing a return on the existing investments that they've made. The way server virtualization works is virtualization makes every application look like it has sole ownership of that server, when in reality, you have multiple virtual machines all sharing the same resources on that box. Virtualization makes it seem like there's multiple boxes when there's really just one. Although virtualization consolidates server usage, failure to account for this change by adopting the data center's infrastructure could actually boost inefficiencies and ultimately costs. So now we have to look at the power and cooling side and shrink that down as well, because that is just wasted power. It's like leaving your car in the driveway with the engine on, not going anywhere. But it's not just about right-sizing power and cooling needs, but about making them more flexible. One of the issues when you're moving virtual machines from one physical machine to another physical machine is that it increases a little bit of the unpredictability of what your power needs and what your cooling needs are going to be. I may be running one virtual machine on one box. I may be running 10 virtual machines on that box. It may be moving from box to box. So having a dynamic environment where I can manage that power and that cooling is very, very helpful and very cost effective for us. If power and cooling capabilities aren't flexible enough to meet these ever-changing load requirements, hotspots can result. And if those aren't quickly addressed, equipment failure, even system failure, may result. It, it is important that as part of making this virtualization more agile and more dynamic, is that as and when a hardware failure occurs or a low workload move occurs from one piece of hardware to another, that the physical environment around that workload and that physical piece of hardware is ready to accommodate the new demand. So it is imperative that a cooling solution follows the needs of that piece of hardware in terms to be able to provide the right amount of cooling as and when the number of CPUs that are activated within the system are increasing or decreasing. Microsoft understands that problems occur in all IT environments and is actively committed to testing technology dealing with today's top IT challenges, such as virtualization. At the Microsoft Technology Centers, Microsoft has partnered with industry leaders, such as APC by Schneider Electric, to create facilities where customers can visualize, plan, build, and analyze their custom data center solution. We're a technical pre-sale center. So we have customers that come in and we help them envision what it can do for their business. We help them architect the solution, in other words, which pieces of software and hardware get put together in, in what way in order to solve a problem. And we can actually help them prove out risky parts of the architecture as well. Microsoft chose APC by Schneider Electric to be a trusted partner and advisor at the Microsoft Technology Centers because the company's infrastructure and in-row cooling solutions help virtualization create a more scalable, reliable, and efficient data center environment. If you think of a, a modern um, IT environment, everything changes so fast, so you don't really know what you're going to want in five years' time, let alone ten years' time. So if you can have a data center that you can build out slowly over time, um, to keep pace with the economy or the, the changing needs of your business, and even to scale it down if, if that's what happens to your business, then that's going to be a huge benefit. So infrastructure is, is that system. It has building blocks of racks, UPS, cooling, and the power distribution units that you can just add on when you need it. APC brings a tremendous amount of value to the Microsoft data center. If it weren't for the APC solution, we wouldn't be able to run them as efficiently, as cost effectively, and as dynamically as we do today. And our customers see the same thing, and they see the same benefits. APC and Microsoft are continuing to work together to make more groundbreaking advancements in data center technology and integrated management software, letting IT managers view the entire data center environment in one application. APC has this great management software for its power and cooling, Infrastructure Central. Uh, that enables us to monitor what's going on, take alerts and, and figure out what to do with them, as well as being able to do predictive simulation. So to, to be able to answer questions like where do I put my next server, etc. 
However, a lot of IT um, network operators like to manage their environment uh, in different ways. And one of those uh, systems is Microsoft System Center Operations Manager. So what we've just announced is that we're able to take the information that we get from ISX Central and to make it available to people using Microsoft System Center Operations Manager. So that way, the, op the operator can use one pane of glass and be able to see all the alerts that you get from ISX Central and to manage it in a way that he's familiar with. This is just one of the many benefits of the partnership between Microsoft and APC by Schneider Electric. By integrating APC's infrastructure, power, and cooling solutions into its technology centers, Microsoft allows data center managers to not only envision their ideal data center solution, but also to fully realize the benefits that virtualization promises to deliver.